Hi, I'm Raleigh Sokol with Landmark Input. Today I'm going to be covering the Dorak UC7 Auto Height Boom System. Um, we're going to be going through all the components, what's involved, and also everything inside the monitor on the setup screens. On the UC7 system, we have four major components. We, we have a HMC1 module right here. We have a hydraulic valve right here. And then we have an AWR active wing roll control cylinder. And we have five max sensors. Each sensor has a roll sensor inside of them. Um, another good thing on these sensors, make sure these foams are clean. I always tell guys, if you have five sensors, make sure you have five extra, but just put five more in your cab. Um, to maintain these, just wash them with so soap and water and put dry ones in. Now we're gonna look at the UC7 system. It's on the ISO BT. So on the 4640, you have to go to your ISO button here. Um, click the menu and then come over here and click the non-specific system, NORAC systems. And this is, comes up every time you start the machine, it's gonna be a liability notice. You have to check mark that, otherwise the system will not work. And now it puts you into your main screen. On your main screen, you can see we have 45 inches. That is the preset height we have in there from the boom to the ground. Um, this A over here is automatic mode. Uh, it will light up green when it's in auto. The wrench uh, gets you into your uh, setting screen. Right now it's in manual mode, so right now the booms will not move uh, automatically. Uh, also over here, these will change to an A and light up green when they are in automatic mode. And these are your current sensor heights right now. Uh, this here is your diagnostic. It gets you into another screen. This is gonna tell you your version of your firmware and hardware. Um, this is going to give you a sprayer type make and model. This is going to give the valve temperature out there. Um, and also your left, left wing sensor and right wing sensor scale factor. And this is going to tell you all the height, all the serial numbers of each, each sensor and the height of each one right now. Um, so right now this this left LO means left outer, ML is middle lift, then right outer, left inner, right inner. Compensation, that's gonna be your AWR cylinder. Going into the hydraulics, it takes a while for the screen to come up, but this is gonna give you your DZs and KPs. What these are is these are our figures that are gonna that when you did an automatic setup, it already gives you your gain and your dead zone. Um, I'm going to talk about that later, how to adjust that if you have a slow boom. But right now, that's all it is. It's just a diagnostic screen. Okay, so now we're at the main screen. If we um, wanted to put an automatic mode, we can do it two ways. We can touch the screen and put an automatic mode. Or we, can, we have a remote switch on the handle that will go into automatic mode. So as you see, now everything's in automatic mode. If you look at this green line here, that's and there's also another green line on the bottom, that's telling me we, we have three modes. That's telling me it's in hybrid mode. It's reading the top of the crop and the top of the soil. Going into the setting screen in automatic mode, uh, you're, you're limited only to this screen. Uh, as far as putting your sensitivity, it's a scale of one to 10. Most normally it will be set at eight on rolling hills. If you're in some really tough terrain, 10 usually works the best. Going into the modes of the sensor, we have three modes, soil mode, which just reads the top of the soil, hybrid mode, which reads the top of the soil and the top of the crop, and then crop mode, which just reads the crop. Your height, this is where you can adjust your height, uh, yeah, up and down and it changes the height of your boom. Uh, your tips, what this is, on um, machines that have tips that can fold in and they don't wanna read the outer sensors, they can turn off the outer sensors and now you're just reading the inner 
sensors on the boom. Headland height, that's uh, when you come up to your headland. That's an option you can put in there to uh, hit the button and it automatically comes up to a certain height. Same with the terrain. Uh, the wings would come up to a certain height. And learn crop height is when you're in hybrid mode. Uh, it's going to learn the height of the crop. When, there, when it comes to a bare spot in the field, it's going to keep that height for you. To get into the rest of the menu, you got to be in manual mode. Get into the setting screen. Uh, the main the main icon you're going to be using is the wrench. Uh, when you first do a automatic setup, this is the one you want to use. It's going to go, go through about 23 steps for you, uh, step by step. It'll tell you what to do. Um, this icon here is a retune. That's only needed if you change out a coil or solenoid or a pump on the machine. Um, this one here we can get into, just a system check. It checks how many sensors, position sensors we have. This one here is probably going to be your main one. This is going to show you where the sensors are positioned on the boom, your, the height of that sensor, and the temperature of that sensor. Um, if you have a sensor out of place, you can actually shut off this sensor. And we'll shut this one off too. And now we can swap them. So that one there, and then we can swap it to the other side, that one there. That's only if you have the sensors out of place. So make sure you always look at the serial numbers of your sensors, make sure they're, they're in the right place, going to the right spot. This is going to be your left outer, right outer, left inner, right inner, uh, this main lift. This is going to be your roll center. You can do a zero adjustment if needed. That gets you on that menu there. Uh, the other menu I was talk about is your valves. Now, earlier when I said that you can adjust your DZ value, that is the value you want to adjust if you have a slow boom lifting up. Here we're going to do on the right outer. Um, what I usually do is go into the dead zone. You can do an auto, but it's not going to help you if you are actually spraying a little faster and you want that boom to move faster. Um, I, what I usually do is I do a manual. And I just come in here and I raise it up 1% at a time. And then try that. Get out of it. It changed it. You keep trying that until you get to where you, your boom actually comes up the way you like it. This screen here is your option screen. Um, remote switches screen, if you would have a, a button on your hydro handle, this is a, that needs to be check marked. Return the height, what that is, that's an option you can put in there for the main lift to return to a certain height. Uh, if you wanna do a safe mode, uh, what that does, that shuts the roll sensors off on the AWR cylinder. Main lift trigger, there's options in here. If you wanted to do headland mode when you push the main um, engagement switch on the handle, uh, it, you have two choices. It can just raise the main up only or the wings up, or if you want to do a terrain or set point bump. Same thing with the remote auto. You got the headland mode, main headland mode wings. And terrain assist. Minimum boom height that would need to be measured from your boom to the ground at the minimum height and that would have to be inserted into there. Double tap wings is when you're in manual and you want to tap them down you can double tap that right one down or the left one down instead of hitting a master switch. 
This here is your USB. Uh, what that is, that's for updating the system. This is going to be an advanced menu. Uh, only reason I'd get in there is if uh, you wanted a different height for to engage. Um, that's something the dealer technician would have to do. And this is uh, activations that NORAC has that you put in. That is an overview of the system. We'll put it in automatic here. So now we're reading, we're reading in crop mode. You got the top green line, bottom green line. We're in crop mode. If I would just raise the right boom up only, it's going to disengage just that right boom, and I can re-enable it. If I do the left side too, it'll do the same thing. I can do the right side. It's going to put it in manual. I can re-enable it. But if I do the middle, it puts it all in manual, and then I can re-enable it. That's the system, how it works. If you have any questions on the NORAC system, please contact your local Landmark Implement dealer.